Today I am at the uh, Inuvik uh, Masjid. The name of the Masjid is the Midnight Sun Mosque. Uh, it's located uh, in the south of the city called Inuvik. And uh, as you can see, it's night time. I had come here for Isha the night there and thought I should just uh, uh, make a video on this beautiful masjid. So you can see this is the entrance. Um, this is the main prayer hall. In my opinion, you could accommodate about 80 people, over 80 people in this main hall. You can see along the walls there shelves with Quran and with the uh, books and uh, reading material so we're making our way to the hallway so this hallway leads to the uh, the main prayer hall the masala and this is the entrance enter from here and then turn right on the left hand side you have the washrooms on the right side here is a small kitchen uh, for events that take place usually light cooking happens here you know, especially in Ramadan and uh, on events uh, such as the Pika I attended a few weeks ago here And this is where they serve food on the tables and everybody sat on the chairs in a circle around the walls. This is the ladies um, prayer hall. This curtain in the front opens to the main prayer hall. MashaAllah. Along the wall in the main prayer area, um, they have these bookshelves with uh, reading material, Qur'ans, and exegesis of Qur'an, and the books on hadiths. So I've exited the masjid and I'm walking through the parking lot now to the Arctic Food Bank. So we're going to go inside and maybe we can learn a few things about this place. Assalamualaikum here with me is Brother Abdullah and uh, he is someone who has been living in Newark for quite some time. Let's uh, talk to him uh, and uh, ask him about the uh, the masjid and this food bank that he runs. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum as wa rahmatullah. How's everything going? Everything is good, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So, uh, um, so for how long have you been living in, in Newark? I've been living in Inuvik since 1991. So 1991. About, yeah. Wow, mashallah. 32 years. 32 years. That's yes. a long time. Please tell us about this masjid. We are a group of Muslims that migrated here to Inuvik. I see. In the early 90s. Mm -hmm. And then we start to have a prayer. Mm -hmm. And we develop our prayer from having small space in the church. Then we move to a small mobile trailer. As mm -hmm. big as this uh, size size and we start praying on it and then up to 19 up to 2008 we thought the community grow and we thought seriously we need a a masjid and that masjid is not only for prayer it's an islamic center 
for all, to welcome everybody in our community. So we start raising fund to buy the land in 2008, 2009. We finished buying the land and then we were shopping for donation and charity. Uh, the person who actually accepted our request is uh, Brother Hussein Gusti. He is located in Winnipeg. He had a charity foundation under, uh, in the name of his mother, Zubaida Talab Foundation. And from there we start fundraising. Alhamdulillah, by the grace of God, uh, by the grace of Allah, in 2011, we, in November, we were able to, to have the masjid and have an opening ceremony. Inshallah. This is a beautiful story, and thank you so much for sharing it You're with welcome. us. Uh, tell us about this food bank. Uh, about the food bank, please. Well, the the reason for the food bank or how the food bank came about, we our masjid itself has a unique story on its own. We transported it all the way from Winnipeg, sort of transported it through land and then barge it to Inuvik, then situated here. So it was a center of media attention all over the world. And we built quite a few data. So we had some people that came here. We had a brother by name Abdul Azim. He came here from Toronto. And he knows the Muslim Welfare Center and the people that they run the Welfare Center food bank in Toronto. So we entertained the idea. We invite them to come over because we needed a food bank. Uh, brother Iqbal Muhammad, uh, Jazawallah Khair, he immediately accepted the invitation and he came over to Inuvik and the rest of the story as you see it. Who is eligible? Well, our motto mm -hmm. is service to humanity is service to Allah. Who everybody is eligible if he comes through our door and requested uh, food. We don't ask any question about the income or any anything zero all what they have to do is just record their name so we can be accountable for the amount of food that we give up makes sense okay, so. and uh, you just mentioned that you have a masjid and a food bank that runs on a similar pattern in Iqaluit yes in Iqaluit in the eastern Arctic and we do have a masjid in Whitehorse Whitehorse too right? yes and inshallah we the food bank will follow Inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you generously for all your efforts and thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. Amin. Alaikum as